What's going on everybody? So uh, Beast Family Homestead here. Uh, for those of you who may be coming in for the first time, my name is Carmen. And uh, we, uh, we have a little small homestead here. I don't know if you'd even really call it a homestead. It's more like a, a, a small scale gardening, farming. Well, it can't be farming. Well, I guess it could. Who knows? Anyway, small scale here. Anyway, uh, just spin this around real quick. Just give you an idea about what we got, what we have. Uh, again, if this is your first time here, so that's the garage area right there where I do all my my work. You know, outside work stuff. This is the aquaponic system here, which this is what this film is about today. Um, y'all have seen y'all seen me mention it in previous videos about how. I've been doing aquaponics for about 10 to 11 years now. I don't really remember exactly how long ago it was whenever I got started. But uh, at our other house, I had this system set up with the green top tank that is over there, which is at the current time, it's empty. It doesn't have anything in it at all. And I had a, a very established aquaponics system at that house that produced a lot of food. Um, mostly tomatoes but i did grow i, I grew cucumbers as well uh some some pepper plants uh and uh, even did uh, eggplant so uh, it was it was a really small system just one of these tanks like this like i said that green top tank over there and then i had six of the uh six of these 55 gallon half a uh, drum well there was three drums cut in half lengthwise, which made six grow beds. So I uh, we moved and I got my I got a fish tank set back up here and put my fish in it. And I, I raise uh, tilapia, I raise bluegill, brim, bass, and catfish. So those species uh, are native here not the tilapia but the other ones that i mentioned those are native to this area obviously when you live in north america uh, so uh, the tilapia uh, people get give tilapia a bad rap i'm gonna try and make this 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 video kind of short um the reason that tilapia get a bad rap is because the, the majority of the tilapia that's in grocery stores today is not farmed uh, locally. They're not farmed in America. A lot of it is coming from overseas, and you got to be careful if you do buy it and look and see. And if it says packaged in the USA, that doesn't necessarily mean grown in the USA. You have to have raised in the USA or farmed in the USA. Uh, label on there in order to understand and know that it came from America. The reason that tilapia that comes from overseas is so bad is uh, it is because that it's not regulated what they're fed. Um, a lot of they they just a lot of the uh, overseas tilapia comes from uh, Vietnam and China, uh, Thailand, uh, India. So they don't have the same regulations that we have here as far as what they get fed and in turn that gets transferred to the fish, um, which may, may be a bad thing just depending on what they're being fed. So won't go into all of that. American raised tilapia. I have no idea why that shut off. Anyway, American raised tilapia is uh, the same as American raised farmed catfish uh, goes through strict uh, USDA inspections. Uh, even the food that they're fed is USDA inspected and um, therefore they're not al allowed to feed them trash. The food that I feed my fish is a pelletized food along with some of the caterpillars and things like that that I'll pick up pick off my uh, my vegetables in my garden. I always feed those to my fish as well but the, the the fish food that I feed is an American made pelletized fish food, which again is USDA inspected. Therefore, I don't worry about 
I don't worry about my fish. My fish are good. They're good to eat. Some of the best fish I've ever had in my life. My friends will tell you, um, it is super clean. Whenever you gut a fish that you catch out in the wild, the in, the in, the inside, the organs and everything like that are just, you know, they're, it's kind of nasty and stinky. You cut one of my fish open and it actually has a sweet smell. There's no foul smell to the insides of my fish. There's actually a, uh, there's actually a lot of fat uh, inside of my fish. Uh, my fish have a, a higher fat content, mainly because they're not having to run, you know, run. That would be funny, seeing a fish run. But they're not having to swim all over the place and uh, in, in order to get their food, you know, they're, they're pretty lazy. So anyway, go ahead and show y'all what I got going on here for today's video and what, what we're gonna do. So this tank right here is going to stay here. Uh, I'm going to, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna leave this uh, up here on top of this. I may do something else with this right here. The only reason I have this going is because there's another, I have two pumps actually in this tank. There's one of my tilapia up top. I just fed them a little while ago, so there's some extra food floating around. Um, anyway, probably gonna leave this set up just the way it is, modified a little bit. The biggest thing that, that I'm gonna want to get done this afternoon because I took a four hour siesta today after I got cut, uh, after me and Shannon had breakfast and uh, went and picked up 14 pounds of jumbo shrimp, uh, Mississippi Gulf shrimp and uh came back and i sat down football game was on i kicked the recliner back and it was it was over so <laughs> i haven't got to do everything i want to get done today but we're getting started anyway so this uh this this uh this is a filter system right here actually let me show y'all what because we haven't this this video is all about aquaponics so you get to see everything I'm going to take y'all through everything. And this is what the filter media is. And you can see how clean this water actually is. It's, it's super clean. Um, there's, not, there's not any dirt in this water. It's just not dirty at all. But these, these things right here, these are just bathroom, plastic bathroom loofahs. And you can see just by touching that 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 stirred up some funk. Well, what I, what is hap what's going on with this, the way this is set up right now, is I don't have any way, sorry, I'm trying to get this to where I can handle it better. I don't have any way to where I can shut this off. There is a valve down here, but that valve is broke. So what I have to do is I have to put a, a ball valve in between these two tanks so that I can shut off the fish tank and then put another ball valve right here with a cap on it, similar to this right here. Just extend this out, put a ball valve here. And then that way I'll be able to shut the water off, shut the pump off that's in there. And, uh, and then I can clean this better. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a hose bib on the end after, so there'll be this nipple here that comes out, a ball valve, another nipple and then I'll reduce it down to where it'll go. I'll be able to hook a garden hose up to this, to the bottom of this right here. And then I'll be able to run, run my garden hose out to my, uh, my grow beds and then fertilize with the fish waste that comes out of these right here. So basically what the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, half inch PVC down in the bottom of this that is basically going to 90 off right here there's going to be a uh, air hose adapter uh, chuck right here and it's going to go down into the bottom of this tank all right and then at the bottom of the tank it's going to have a T and then there's going to be a circle I'm going to take my heat gun and heat up that uh, half inch PVC into a circle to where it fits 
the uh, inside there and then another circle inside of that. You'll see I'm going to put all of this on video, but we're just going over it now. I'll show, I'll show it all to you. And the concept is, is whenever I shut this off and I start to clean out the, the uh, filtration system, which there's going to be three or four more of these right here on the inside of this, uh, on the inside up against the wall right here to where that I will be able to do this uh, on four different ones because we're going to have a total of three grow tanks in, in the new system. So we'll have three fish tanks just like this where you see them. There's one, there's the green top, and then this one right here is going to be for my uh, uh, koi and young tilapia, which I'm going to have a breeding, uh, this will also be a breed out tank. So we'll have, uh, we'll have young tilapia in here. So anyway, back to this. So whenever I turn, uh, what I'll do is whenever I shut these valves off, I'll turn the, uh, I'll turn the air on. And what it's going to do is it's going to rush air through all of this stuff. It's going to agitate it really bad. And then I'll just take a hose. I mean a hose. I'll take a, uh, I have no idea why that keeps cutting off like that. But I'll take a two by four and I'll agitate all of this stuff while water's running in it. And, uh, and it'll clean it and then I'll know that whenever the water is clean, the air, the, all of this stuff starts to clear up, I'll know that the filter media is clean. And then again, all of this stuff out here be well watered and well fed because all of the fish waste, the solid waste that's coming out of here will be going out into the grow beds. So again, this tank, this uh, filtration tank uh, right here is going to be up against the wall. There's gonna be three more in line with ball valves in between each one. And that way I can get it, you know, I can uh, shut it all down and clean it one at a time. This tank right here is going to move to where this system, uh, this filtration system is right here. Uh, it's gonna move closer and it's going to be uh, in line. It'll be in line with this one, not actually in line, so to speak. I don't know. It may, it may not. I haven't quite figured out exactly how. I just know that this, this tank over here is moving here, and then this tank right here is going to move over there. So there'll be three tanks in line, the filter stations in the back, and then that way everything is going to move a little bit closer. And the end goal is to put a privacy fence from this post right here all the way down to where you can't see any of this. And then I'll also close and close this right here to where you can't see anything it'll all be behind and out of sight out of mind daddy's got to get this area cleaned up back here so all of this stuff that you see over here get this set down all of this stuff that you see over here is just this aquaponics uh, stuff that i have collected and i've used in my other system and it's not junk as it may look it's not junk. Nothing I have is junk. It's all usable stuff that I have collected for the purpose of creating my aquaponics systems. All right, so there you have it. I will uh, bring y'all back whenever I've got something done. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get to work and uh, keeping my videos short. Trying to keep my videos shorter because I did a little interview where I did it live and asked the question, "What do y'all prefer?" The ones that piped in near that were on the uh, live feed, they uh, they all said shorter videos. So I'm gonna try and keep them short, guys. So we'll bring y'all back on the next one. All right.